All right, here we go, here we go, and I'm gonna make sure I'm filming. Back with another video from Flash Custom Transfers. It's your boy straight at the contact, guys, listen. This, these M&Ms aren't required, but while you're doing weird experiments, you always wanna make sure you got a good snack. So in this video, we are gonna show you, I'm gonna do an experiment. I'm gonna do an experiment. You get a lot of people out there asking me, Carl, straight at the contact, can you press a transfer with an iron? I don't know, I don't know, so I'm gonna let you guys know if it works today. So go ahead, grab you guys self, grab yourself a snack. Let's get into this video. Okay, so you guys know over here, Flash Custom Transfer Straight Outta Content, we like to keep things very crazy and different and stuff like that. So if this is your first time tuning in, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell because we have so many other videos on the channel that are gonna answer all of your questions about DTF, that's what this is right here. This right here, this is a DTF transfer. Let me zoom in. This right here, this is a DTF transfer. As you can see, it has an adhesion, a special adhesion on the back that makes it extremely durable and it's full color. Look how pretty that is. These right here, this is just another example of a DTF transfer. This is actually cut out, um, so it's a single, but these are also all available on the website. If you don't know, we sell 22 by 24, 22 by 36, and our big 22 by 60 gang sheets. Again, you can put anything you want on the sheet. We also have videos on how to teach you how to create your gang sheet in Canva for free, as long as you got Canva Pro, or you can just send us your images and we can whip that up for you. So please check out all that other information if this is your first time tuning in. So now I got my snack to the side. Let me show you guys what you need in order to try to do this experiment. Again, this is my first time doing this. This is actually a cool polo that I got from my local uh, Blank Apparel store. I'll put the link in the description down below. It's actually just a Gildan polo. It's kind of cool whenever I'm out and I can wear my um, wear my brand. So that's why I bought this polo to kind of try to test it out. I really don't wear my brand a lot outside of like hoodies, but it's kind of cool to kind of transition it over to like a nice polo. I gotta go to soccer games and what else? Volleyball games and stuff like that. So um, it'll be great to be able to wear this polo with the, with the logo on it. So the, some of the things that you're gonna need, it's not 100% required, but I wouldn't feel safe using an iron to press a DTF transfer unless you had these. So the first thing that you're gonna need is a Teflon sheet. Yes, you can use parchment paper. We don't recommend parchment paper. We do not recommend it, but there are some, experience, some experiments that we have done at the warehouse using different types of things to press a DTF. And you can sometimes get a different finish. So if you press if you press with parchment paper, your final product will have a different finish, like different finish than if you use Teflon paper. But we suggest Teflon paper, so this way you're not just protecting the garment, you're also protecting the DTF transfer. So uh, Teflon sheet, a pillow. In this, in this application, we're actually gonna use a pillow. I might even fold it. The reason I'm using a pillow is because when I stick it in there, I want only the transfer to raise, and then I wanna be able to push and press with the iron because pressure is what's going to make this transfer stick. The iron, bless you, that's Chelly in the background. The iron is only going to get so hot. I've actually been leaving, this iron's been left on for about 10, 15 minutes now. I'm trying to get it as hot as possible. I have it on its highest setting and I have the, um, like the moisture thing, what's it called? I forgot what the thing's called with the moisture where it allowed, like puffs out the, the water, whatever. I turn that off. You want it as dry as possible. You don't want any moisture. So we got the pillow, and then I also have some heat heat tape because I don't have you know any measuring thing. So I'm actually gonna measure it by hand using my T. I'm gonna measure it by hand using my T, and then once I do that, I'm gonna tape it in place. So let's go ahead and start. Oh, you know what? I also have our trusty fan, and all of these things will be in the link in the description down below. I also have our trusty fan to kind of cool it. Since I'm not pressing with a press, I'm pressing with an iron. I wanna get it as cool as possible before I start to peel. So again, this is just an experiment. This is just an experiment. Check out all our other videos of how to press DTF quality or transfers properly. Check out all our videos for that. This is just an experiment. I just decided, you know what? Let me film uh, a pretty cool video. So let me get you guys closer in here. We're gonna, we're gonna get this all set up. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna align this logo in the proper place. So how we do that, we're gonna take the logo off and here's a good trick. You wanna find where this material up here meets the collar. So this little point right here, make sure that's on camera. Okay, you wanna find this little point right here. So from the sleeve all the way up, from here, and you wanna go down about six inches. Usually whenever we're going from the collar, we're going on about three inches, but because this is a polo, we wanna do what's called a left chest hit. So 
We're gonna take our T here and we're gonna go to the inches because this is millimeters. We don't wanna use this, we're gonna use inches. We're gonna come all the way up here. We wanna keep it as straight as possible. We wanna come down six inches. So that's about right here. So me, I kind of like mine down a little bit from here. So I'm actually gonna come down another, uh, that's gonna be kind of high on my chest. So I think I'm gonna come down to seven and a half. So it's really all up to your discretion. Me, I could come down six, so it's gonna be like right here. So this is kinda, the way that my body's built, this is kinda almost on my shoulder a little bit, so I wanna come down a little further. We wanna take our transfer, and we want to, well, let me put a piece of tape right here to kinda, all right, so I'm gonna stick a piece of tape there just to kinda hold our place of where we want it. So that's where we want it. Now, I'm gonna take my transfer, and I'm just gonna make it exactly half. So we wanna fold it in half so that we have our center point. We're not gonna squeeze tightly, but we just wanna make a little crease at our center point. So now, as you can see, we have our center point. Now, we're, again, we we'll measure again. I like to measure a bunch of times and only cut once. So we're here, we're coming down seven and a half, and we want to, again, you wanna be, you wanna know how far you are from your sleeve as well. So if I leave it right here, I am about uh, three and a half inches, three and three and seven quarters away from the, I'm gonna take a look at it. I think this is actually too far this way. So we're gonna move it over a little bit more towards the sleeve. And I'm gonna take my tape. I'm gonna look at this, I'm gonna inspect it. Okay, so we're gonna look at this. We're gonna inspect it. Make sure that it looks good on camera. Make sure it looks good in real life, which we are in real life. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, I think that looks good. Let me go ahead and tape it down here and then I'm gonna see if I like that place. And what heat tape is gonna allow us to do is heat tape is gonna allow us to press it and it's not, the, um, the tape isn't gonna burn or anything. Mess up the garment. It's not gonna mess up the transfer. So so if you got an opportunity to get some heat tape, definitely hit the link in the description. All heat tapes are basically created equal. So now with that taped on there, I can maneuver it. We can see how it looks. We can lift it up. You know what I mean? Because it's on there. It's not going to go anywhere. I'm not worried about the edges, just as long as it's not crooked whenever we're looking at it. And that to me, that looks pretty good. That looks flush. That looks horizontal. All these look good. So now we're going to go ahead, put the pillow inside. And remember, we want some type of pressure. You can press this flat. If you don't have a pillow, you can press it flat. I'm just gonna use the pillow sake to try to make it come out as good as possible. Slide that pillow in there. So now whenever we press, the pillow will also help relieve any um, any marks that the iron's gonna make because the iron's gonna wanna make like, you know, a traditional iron mark, but see? Now we're just pressing here and the pillow's gonna give us some give on the back end so we can get some really good pressure. Then we're gonna lay our Teflon sheet and you can still sort of see it. Now, normally you would press with the iron. Normally with the iron, you would, with the heat press, you would press 12 seconds on 310. We don't have that with the iron. Oh, and I actually don't have a heat like thermometer to tell how hot this is. So I'm gonna say this is around 180 to 200 degrees with the iron. I'm gonna use all of my might and body weight at 280 pounds to press down on this. And we're gonna do at least 30 seconds, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and look at my watch here. And when that gets to 15, I'm going to press one, two, three, go. Push and push. And I'm just gonna keep that there. We're just gonna watch my watch. I'm gonna push down and I'm gonna do at least until this, until my watch says 45. Then we're gonna cool it off and we're gonna see if we can tuck it. And you know what, in fact, I'll do a whole minute. So we're almost there. I'll do a whole minute. Cause again, I don't know how hot this is and we're working with full blown cotton and it takes, you know, cotton can take a lot of heat. If this was polyester, I probably would have been able to pull up already but I'm gonna use my watch and press for a minute. I'm using all of my weight with one hand and we're almost there. Hopefully that heat translated. We are now at one minute. I lift it up and I push it in like this for a couple more seconds and we're gonna see. Again, this is my first time doing this. We have a heat press. Please check out all the other videos. Oh, I think it's in there. I think it's in there. Turn on our fan. I think it's in there, guys. It definitely, the heat definitely activated. We want this to be cold, 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 cold. We want a cool, cool, cool press. I mean, a cool, cool, cool transfer. So I can still feel heat every time I touch it. The pillow's hot, everything is hot. I think this F, this H, S, A, and L pressed well. I think I need a little more heat on the F. I can see it. The F, these letters, I can kind of like see, um, they got like a weird, they almost took the color of the shirt a little bit, but the F is still really white. I don't know if it pressed. So I'm gonna do one more, just on the F a little bit, because don't forget, we're also gonna do a second press as well. Just a little bit of press on the F. Okay, lift this back up, cool this down to cold. Yeah, it's really hot. 
So this, it all, it, all of this is gonna depend on your iron. This feels no, this feels really hot, just like if we were to press it with a heat press. Lift it up a little bit, let that air kind of circulate, cool it from the back a little bit, because we want this cool to the touch. Cool, cool, cool. And I'm actually gonna peel from this end, because if we have to second press it right here, then it'll definitely adhere to the, all right. So here, right, this is the moment. Oh, nope, it's still a little warm. As Soon as I lifted it up, I felt it was a little warm. We want it cool, 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 cool. Well, let me check the back. Let me check underneath, see if it's still warm. Yeah, still a little warm underneath. Okay, want it nice and cool. All right, this is the moment of truth. Here's the moment of truth, guys. Let's see if this works. Do a chili tap. Wow, it worked. There we go, it worked. It's in there. All right, now let's do our second press. And I think I did it too long. I think I think the, the one minute was too long. And again, this is just an experiment. So I could actually go over this with the same transfer. And because I think I think I left it on there too long because it's actually, it feels different. This feels like plasticky almost. This feels different because of the heat from this, but I think I, let, I think I baked it too long. At 60 seconds, it was way too long. So that's just, again, this is just an experiment because I've never, we use a heat press, so, which is only 12 seconds. So I think start even with an iron, do 12 to maybe 15 seconds. Don't do a minute like I just did. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and bake it in here for another 12 seconds, one, or six seconds to six. And I think that is it. Yep, that is it. Oh, let's take this pillow out. So here we go, guys, this is the final product. This is it, this is the transfer pressed in using an iron. This is the transfer pressed in using an iron. And as you can see, I definitely <laughs> left the iron on too long. But again, this is just a fun experiment that I wanted to do with you guys. It still keeps its strength. See, it's still super strong. You can still stretch. I mean, actually, this cotton doesn't want to stretch. But as you can see, it still keeps the strength. It's still super strong. It's still the strongest transfer in the world. It's not going to go anywhere. But yeah, it's on there. We actually successfully pressed using an iron. Again, don't go 60 seconds like I did. If you are going to use this method, just do your average 12 to maybe 15 seconds with the iron on its highest setting. Remember, you don't want to have the steam on the iron. Uh, you just want it as dry as possible. Use a Teflon sheet and a pillow and you can actually press using an iron. Yeah, don't don't bake it as long as I did. So hopefully this video has helped you guys out, guys. All right, this is it. This is the shirt. And as you can see, I messed up. And that's exactly why we don't make clothes here at Flash Custom Transfer. So <laughs> as you can see, I, I made this logo way too far to my left. I guess you're right, but way too far to the left. I should have brought it in. But again, that's why we don't make custom apparel. But again, this is just showing the transparency of our company. Yes, if you want to use a iron to press your transfers and that's all you have at the time, but you're trying to just start this business, go ahead because chances are, if you're at the place where you only have an iron and you're able to get our transfers, which are very cheap, by the way, like as far as price, very, very inexpensive, and you're able to, you know, start, then just go ahead and start because you're going to make mistakes like this. You're gonna make mistakes by doing it too long. So there's no sense in going out and purchasing all the big equipment and stuff like that. Just learn how to press, how to, um, how to design, how to do all of that first before you start investing, investing, investing into heavy equipment. Lord knows we've made plenty of mistakes from the sublimation conversion printers to the Cricut machines. Uh, I think the only thing that we still actually use to this day that really actually makes us money is our heat press, it did bring us a long way. But outside of that, I would just, if I'm start, if I'm you guys and this is your first time tuning in or you're just wondering, hey, you know what, I have an iron. 90% of us all have an iron. Can I order some transfers, some flash custom transfers, small, you know, small images and start my clothing line or start doing projects for other people? The answer is yes. Is it ideal? No, it's not ideal. But again, if you're just practicing and you want to do it at a very low cost, please go ahead and try it out. That's what this video is made for. So again, I'm, I probably will. This will be something that like I wear to wash the car. Or maybe I'll wear this. I'm like going to the store real quick or something like that, because you can obviously tell it's way too far over into my into my armpit over here. It should have been over here. But again, I don't make clothes. We make transfers. So just to let you guys know, we still have our 10 percent sale going on in a website of use code winter, you're going to get 10% off 
everything on the website. Just use code winter at the checkout. We have our 22 by 24 transfers, which are $19.99 and you can get 10% off. We have our 22 by 36 uh, for $24.99, you can get 10% off. And then we have our big 22 by 60 for only $44.99 and you will get 10% off guys. So please go take advantage of the sales. Go just practice again. If you get a 22 by 24 with the 10% off code, it's only be $17.99 for the sheet. And that's a big sheet, 22 by 24. You can fit a bunch of images on there, bunch of small images on there. You, I think you can fit 23 four inch images. Yeah, 23 four inch. You can probably fit 50 of these, but I know you can, because these are just straight across, so you can do a lot of them, but you can fit 24 round four inch images on the 22 by 24 sheet. Get it, you know, $17, 17, 18 bucks after shipping and everything. You're only in it maybe $30 shipped to your door. And you could do a lot of things and just practice. You know what I mean? And also we got gift cards coming out. So soon you'll be able to go to the website and gift card somebody a gang sheet or a bundle or a buy 10, get two free or buy five, get one free. And don't forget if you use the code winter on those, you will also get those big sales at a discount as well. So go on over to flashcustomtransfers.com. And remember, if you have any questions, email us at order now at flashcustomtransfers.com. Please do not stop. Don't not submit anything. Don't not place any orders because you feel that you don't know enough. We are here to answer all of your questions and we want to answer all of your questions. So stay tuned for the next video and also check out all of the other videos so that you can learn more about the GTF process. Be basic, peace.